Okay, so good morning. Before I show you exactly how I turned a 20 to 25 dollar ad spend on Instagram to over 400 dollars in profit for my company, um, I live in South Florida right by the ocean. So I want to show you this is why you need to have a car cover. Uh, I know you don't see much on your end, but it's not good like that. <laughs> this is why you get a car cover, especially if you have a luxury sports car like the Audi. Uh, yeah, you don't want to end up like my car where you're getting spots, poop, uh, pretty much all this junk all over your car. If you live where I live, salt water gets, you know, the salt in the air from the salt water gets on your car and it's really annoying. You have to keep on cleaning your car. So uh, yeah, make sure you get a car cover, especially if you have a black fancy car like the Audi. Okay, so hopefully my camera does, I have to crouch down because my Gorilla Pod keeps Bending back. Um, I just want to cut straight to the chase. I want to show you guys exactly. I don't even wear glasses. I just want to show you guys exactly how I turned a twenty to twenty-five dollar ad spend on Instagram to over four hundred dollars in profit for my company. Um, really, it was actually a very simple process. I just want you guys to know there are many different ways that you can make money on Instagram. You don't just have to, you know, do a paid advertisement to your product directly. Uh, if you're a personal brand like me, then there are many different ways you can monetize your Instagram account. But in this case, uh, my Instagram page is called Pixel Bench, and I'm gonna throw a screenshot right here showing you. And this page has less than a thousand followers. I believe I just hit 800 followers. Uh, let me check. Okay, um, oh, not 800. I just hit 1,075 followers. So basically, I just hit 1,000 followers this week. Very excited for that, and this is all organic. Uh, those 1,000 followers came from shout outs I did in the past, people tagging their friends, people sharing my page, and quite recently, it came from me paying, you know, paying ads on Instagram to get people to visit my page. And I chose the option for people to visit my profile because Instagram asks you, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna pay for an ad. What is the purpose of this ad? Is it to drive visitors to your website, sell a product, or visit, you know, people to visit your profile, your Instagram profile? I chose visit my Instagram profile because that encourages people to click on it, then follow me, and then maybe message me if they want me to create a custom Photoshopped image of them or anything that they want me to edit. So if you check out my Instagram page, Pixel Bench, you will see pretty much I am a curation page. What that means is I am just like the Photoshop page where I curate other people's content. Of course, I give credit to them, I tag them in the photo, and I build a following, and in the process, I help those people get followers as well. So it's a win-win, uh, basically a symbiotic relationship. I help them get followers and exposure, and it helps me get followers and exposure, and I am able to share amazing art from around the world, amazing Photoshop edits around the world, world uh, on this Instagram platform. How do I make money? That's something that a lot of people ask me. Well, I do charge for my own custom photoshopped images and I pretty much have my own style that I uh, stick to. And if you wanna learn about what that style is, I'll throw up an image right here pretty much showing you the kind of style that I go with. Uh, this is all custom edited by me. These are the kind of photos that I do. So when people reach out to me, they ask me, hey Justin, how much would you charge for an edit like that? And I tell them upfront, upfront, I tell them, hey listen, I'm gonna be upfront and honest with you. I get a lot of requests for people to you know that want me to edit photos of them just like this one right here so because I get a lot of requests because I spend a lot of time editing my rates are gonna be a little bit more expensive than someone else maybe like on Fiverr uh, so for an edit like this a very custom edit you know I can also change different things I can edit your head I can make it bigger I can do a bunch of different edits combined with this editing style uh, but generally it's gonna cost you a one-time $50 fee for those edits. And the funny thing is, a lot of people are perfectly okay with that. They say, wow, okay, I'm perfectly fine paying you $50 for one edit. And that's also the beautiful thing about having a social media platform. You know, the bigger you get, the more people will take you seriously. Of course, there are gonna be people out there who just don't care and they don't value your time and uh, energy and they're gonna say, oh no, I'll pay you only 10 bucks. But most of the time, I don't have any issues. People say, okay, yeah, sure, I have no problem paying $50. So I think that's pretty interesting. The more followers you get, the bigger of the following you get, people tend to take you more seriously and they'll accept whatever pricing you throw at them. So here's how I made $400 with about a $20 or $25 ad spend on Instagram. I paid for an ad to get exposure to this one image right here. I'm gonna show you the image of the ad and I paid for exposure to that ad. Therefore, I wanted people, here, here was my perception, I wanted people to reach out to me and say, hey, I love that edit, can you do an edit for me? I didn't make most of my money. I did not make most of my money from selling edits 
to people from that advertisement. What I did was when people reached out to me, I told them, hey, listen, I want to let you know I have an offer going on right now. So I run a company called Simplora.com. It's a website builder. We're pretty new to the market. And we're basically, I give them the whole spiel about what exactly Simplora is. And then I tell them my standard edit, just one edit usually costs $50. But if you're in the market right now to build a website, if you create an account at Simplora.com, if you build a website and if you upgrade today, just upgrade today, you can build, you can grab a random template that we have and you can change it later on if you want. If you upgrade today to a yearly plan, then I will give you five edits for free. You don't have to pay $50 per edit. Uh, I'm gonna give you five edits for free. So the moment people hear that, <laughs> they go crazy. And that is how pretty much I made most of my money. I cross promoted. So cross promoting is basically when you're selling something, but you tell people, hey, if you buy this other product or service instead, then I will give you this initial product you wanted to buy, but you're also gonna get that other product because you're buying it. So cross promoting is a very, very effective way of marketing as well. That's what I'm telling you. There are a million different ways you can sell products on Instagram. Uh, you don't just have to run an ad to your product. You know, you can do different tactics. And that's exactly what I did. So I got a few customers doing that. Uh, I had about 10 or 15 people reach out to me from these multiple ads that I ran to my curation page. People reach out to me saying, hey, I want you to edit this kind of photo for me. I want you to edit this. And some people, of course, declined the offer for getting uh, the website because not everyone's in the market for a website. But on Instagram, here's the beautiful part. You are able to target people on your Instagram ads based on the kind of people who follow you. So I'm gonna throw up a screenshot right now as well, right here. It shows you who is your target demographic and you get to either A, input your own information, like I wanna target people who are 18 to 25 years old. I wanna target women only. I wanna target people who are interested in baseball, right? You can get as specific as you want, or you can let Instagram decide for you based on the kind of people who already follow you, which is the recommended version that Instagram tells you. They tell you, hey, we recommend you, you choose this option because we already know the kind of people who follow you because we have all their data, right? So that's what I did. I ran with the option to advertise to people that are just like my followers, the kind of people who would like my content. And therefore, I decided in my head, I'm like, hey, if somebody likes art and design, they're probably somebody who draws, they're probably a photographer, they're probably an artist, a painter, graphic designer, whatever it may be, and they probably need a website to host their content, to sell it, or to just share it with the world. So that, for me, was like, wow, this is a perfect combination, web design with art and you know just design in general. I could give them a place to host their content online and make money at the same time. So that's exactly how I made about $400 with a $20 to $25 ad spend. I got a few customers to my yearly plan. I told them, hey, upgrade to the yearly plan and I'll give you five edits for free uh, from me directly. So you don't have to pay for them at all. Upgrade to the yearly plan, I'll give you five edits for free. So that's how I made $400 with it. I have my own product, I have my own company, and I cross-promoted that with the Instagram ad too. to my pictures, yeah. <laughs> So that's it for this video. Hopefully that gave you some good information. Uh, I'm gonna go inside now, finish my coffee. And yeah, if you want more videos like this, leave a comment down below. And if you wanna learn what I do for a living, I have my website down below, justmiller.io. Basically, on the side, I make YouTube videos, mainly on this channel, but most of my income comes from videos that I upload on brand new channels, and I get those videos ranked on the front page of YouTube, and I sell products on that video, so basically through affiliate links. So as an example, let's say I want to sell a broom, and there's this company that's paying me $10 for every customer I sell the broom to through an affiliate link. What I would do is I'll create a brand new channel. I would make just one video, just one video that's no more than 10 minutes long. I would upload that video to that one YouTube channel I just created. I would rank that video on the very first page of YouTube and that video would end up staying there for years to come, uh, if not forever. And every single day, every single week, every single month, I'll get commissions all the time and I'll get paid every month in residual income just from that one video. So imagine doing that 20 times over and uh, yeah, I have all these videos spread across all throughout YouTube and I show you exactly that process in the link in the webinar I did. It's a free webinar, you can attend it, so the link is down below for that. Hopefully that gave you the information you wanted to know about Instagram, about how I did a $20, $25 ad spend and made about $400 with it. So that's it, take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.